So you've caught me back out here exploring again, and I'm actually quite near the area where I found Muriel, because this is where the Guardian Hempel is. I've decided that I'm going to just go down and get some Prismarine and speed this process up to upgrade these houses. So this is going to go incredibly well, but I'm going to try to get some C blocks here, or at least some Prismarine for me to be able to get them. This is going to go swimmingly. Well, we're in, and so far I'm absolutely getting owned here, which is not great. But I'm going to use my little door system that I uh, have patented, so that I can breathe under here and not get killed at the same time. Right, there's one of the guardians there. Yep, yep, yep. I see you, chap. I see you, chap. Let me just get myself sorted here, and then I can deal with you. Right, where are you? There you're there. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. Mm -hmm. Nope, do you know what? You come to me, I'm not coming to you. Come on, come on, come on. Right, good, that's one of them dead at least. Right, the rest of you, leave me be. Oh, I think I got a sponge. This is such a bad way that I do this. Such a bad, bad way, but... You know, when have I ever done anything right? Right, the last one, and he's down as well. Hopefully, don't be killing me, chaps, please. Oh my god, that was a bit closer than I would have liked. You're still hitting me, chaps. Oh, that's because I'm drowning. Oh. I am hoping if that goes away in two seconds, that's it done. And I think it is okay, right, we've got all the guardians, which means I should be absolutely fine taking these out now. Yes, perfect. This is probably going to take quite some time, so the next time I see you guys, again, unless anything really interesting happens, we'll be back at the colony. Uh, if I don't die first. I am half dead, but I have returned. And I've got a couple of spoils there, which is rather nice. Not as much as I would have liked, but I was definitely getting my ass kicked a little bit too much for my own liking. But we've got enough C blocks now that we should be able to continue doing these builds. Hopefully. So I've seen that both builders are still working on Citizen 4 houses here, which is requiring green carpet for Isaac, and for Benjamin, a couple more items but all of them should be easy enough to get done. I'm going to allow the florist to get the poppies for us here though, because he's now up and working, so I, I need to make sure that's working. And everything else should be absolutely fine. I'm just going to need to get some green dye to allow them to make these green carpets now. Right, Isaac, that's enough for you then. Right, you go complete that, and I'll give the remnants in here to Benjamin, and hopefully this is going to allow us to get quite a lot more of these builds done, start getting some more NPCs in, because you asking me for stuff like the cobblestone here, whenever I've got a place that actually makes cobblestone next door but no worker in it, is not really helping me out here, because I hate having to do work. I thought we had a florist, did we not? What we do is Frederike, it's another Frederike. Uh, let me guess, are they in here being sick at the moment actually? Yes, of course they are. What's wrong with you? Just a carrot and potato, that's fine, you should get that soon. Well, what do you want? You want more honeycomb? Oh, I'm gonna go check on our bee person actually. Well, we still have bees, which is good. Oh, and this beehive here actually has got some stuff in it. Uh, Adam? Nope, oh, okay, Adam, you could have come and harvested that. What are you doing actually? Where are you going? He doesn't need anything. He may just be slightly hungry, but. Okay, well. I think we're getting on okay there. I oh, really wish I would stop killing myself though. But I am very pleased that we've got some bees who are actually down here working. I would like this to be upgraded too as well so we can get some more in. Just have bees everywhere here. I might plant you guys a lot more flowers around here actually. That'd be nice. There you go. Right, anything else? Or can you go out there and start building as well please? I'm going to assume that's a no. Oh, there we go. Now you're requesting a million other things. Right, I'm going to assume that he'll be fine and I'll just do all that himself. Let's come and see how many more of these buildings we've got left to upgrade. So floor is still not healed. What is going on here? He just needs a carrot and a potato. Oh, there's Adam there. He was sick as well. Do we not have any carrots or potatoes? Well, I can get you those, but there's another building done. I suppose that's what happens whenever we lose a farm. And I need to become the farmer again. Ah, uh, which building was that that just got finished around here? I think it was that one. Well, he's a way to start beekeeper too, at least, which is nice. I suppose I better go get some carrots and potatoes for these chaps. At least we've got a field absolutely full of these though, which is nice. I wish I could say the same for the potatoes. I guess I need to go to my own personal farm. I am curious though. Can I give you 
this poisonous potato and a carrot. And we'll eat them and be healed. I don't think so. Oh, well, that's a shame. Right, here. Take some of these then. Yeah, Benjamin's nearly done this, actually. Everything there should be in the warehouse, I believe. Maybe apart from the green carpets. Just need to get some more green dye. I can do that for him. How is the beekeeper looking? Uh, we need another beehive and we need a honeycomb block as well. I wonder if I can teach that to the actual beekeeper. I can't actually teach Adam here how to make the beehives because he's only got a 2x2. Two two. Oh. Well, the people, I thought that you would have been the best one to have made beehives from this. Surely you can make honeycomb blocks at least. Okay, good, you can do that. Right, you can give him those then. So I'll need to find someone to make us beehives. Known my luck again will be the blacksmith. No, it was the sawmill operator. Fair enough. Well, at least we'll have those up and running soon. I don't know if I can actually just dye the sheep like this and you will then just get us these type of wools. Or even both those type there. You in here with a nice pink one. And if I had another piece of green dye, I would certainly do some more because I'm needing those at the moment. But hopefully you'll come out and share those and that'll maybe help us here. Really need a dyer actually. Uh, I need that research done too soon. Though, I'm pretty sure we started the dire about 20 episodes ago. I never really got around to doing it. Oh, Frederike, are you actually doing some work for one son? Composted dirt. Now, hopefully you are making us poppies here. You've not got anything in your inventory there. But I do see these sparkling, so I'm assuming something is happening here. Well, the fact that Benjamin already has the poppies required there, in fact, he's got a little surplus of them. I think you're actually doing a good job then. Wow. And we're just waiting on two more honeycomb blocks now, and that'll be Beekeeper 2 upgraded to tier 2 there. In hindsight now, I wonder if I should have put the Beekeeper and the Florist close to each other so they kind of work off each other. Oh well, uh, I suppose the bees can just travel if they're really wanting some more flowers. So I've checked our work orders, and obviously we've still got a lot of these citizen huts that we're upgrading, but I have noticed we haven't had many more child births in, so we've not really had any more NPCs come in. And I do think that's because we're capped at the moment at 25 citizens. So we're pretty much capped on what we've got just now. But we do have that outpost research working that should increase that cap. So I might put a hold on to some of the citizen house builds just now. And just try to get some of these other ones up and running I think. Just until we get that research done and then we can get some more of those huts upgraded. Hopefully that's it. Well, I know what the builders like in this game, they pretty much just do whatever they want to do, so I'll just need to sit and see what they're going to do after they're finished, which we would be done if we had some honeycomb blocks. And uh, well actually Citizen 4 is nearly done over there, so that should flag off any second now. Yep, there it's there, perfect. And he's away to do Delivery Man 2, that's absolutely fine. Minor upgrades still have a little bit longer to do. And our outpost research to increase our citizen cap uh, also has quite a long time to do. So good, right, it's going to take forever to still get those researches. So I am kind of maxed out my population at the moment, which is not good because I've got a lot more things I need people in working for us. I just put on a delivery request for honeycomb and apparently we've got 55 of it in the warehouse. Yet yeah, Isaac is still here waiting on the honeycomb blocks being made. So why is that chap over there, the beekeeper, not requesting the honeycomb touch and make these? I mean, if Keen's about to deliver me all of them, then I can make them. But I'm just not sure why he's not making them. Maybe I'd be better telling the builder how to make honeycomb blocks instead. Well, if, if I can. Which I can. So, yeah, that, that beekeeper's a little bit pointless at the moment. Aren't you, son? You're a bit pointless. Absolutely. Here's Isaac actually come to fix all this stuff for you. And there's where the honeycomb blocks are going. Oh, that's what they are. So are you going to put in a new beehive round here then, Isaac? Or are you just going to give it to him to do? Making us pretty fast by the looks of it. Yep. It is only tier 2 to be fair. Well, I'll just stand to the side and watch this happen. And there's beekeeper 2 done. Well, Isaac's away to start the farmer now, which is really important because I have no idea how that's going to turn out. So I'll assist as much as I can to make this because I really need to farm back up and running here. I think I've put this down another further two blocks even from this. So yeah, this is going to take you quite some time, chap. But that is why I am here to help for once. Oh, well, there's Delivery Man 2 just finished. 
Oh yeah, I forgot it was just down there. Cool, right, well, that'll speed them up a little bit. We are making good progress here, although we keep opening some little tunnels underneath. And they're a way to make the restaurant four there, which is absolutely fine. But we still got a lot of work here to do. Although, what are you needing for the restaurant here? Oh god, more beetroot soup. Oh, I hope I've taught someone how to make that. We are getting into some really interesting items now. Red floating carpet. I don't have a clue what that is. As well as spruce paper wall and there's white floating carpet. Okay, I'll need to see how to make those. So red floating carpet we can make two ways, I believe, by putting lots of carpet down already with some more dye, or more simple, some string, red carpet and a building tool. Uh, that might be the Fletcher to do that, I will check. And the spruce paper wall is just some paper covered round by some spruce planks. So I will see again if the sawmill operator can do those. Very interesting though. The fact that we've still got beetroot soup coming up in open requests for me to do here, as well as a floating carpet and paper wall, says that no one knows how to make those things. So I'll come in and see if the sawmill operator can at least make the spruce paper wall, which they can do. So that should take that requirement off of here, which it has. Okay, so now the floating carpet, which I think might be the Fletcher, which it is. So they can do the floating carpets here in the Fletcher and hopefully they will come off of the request system if they can make it. The recipe was saved but it's still in the request system so I'll I'll see about that. And we'll teach the sawmill how to make some bowls here and hopefully then if we just come up into the restaurant they will actually be able to make the beetroot soups for us. Oh, I can't go that way anymore. Well that was quick. Oh, no, there's a gate there. I can't go this way. It's just gonna take me extra steps here. Oh, can you make beetroot soup in here then, Riley? Yes, you can. Brilliant. So, how is the request looking now? Everything is now off it, apart from these floating carpets, which I'm assuming actually might go above these uh, spruce fences there, actually. So, the reason why they are still in my request system for these floating carpets is because we actually don't have the carpets themselves which I'm pretty sure you guys know how to make the carpets. Yes, you chaps know how to make the carpets, so why can't you make them for the request system? You builders are a bit useless sometimes. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can teach someone how to make the carpets quickly, which again, the Fletcher can. You are an excellent build, by the way. I'm very pleased that you can do so much. There's the red carpets, and there's how to make string as well. Oh my god, you are brilliant, son. Absolutely brilliant. Is that now off the list? Yep, they're off the list, although we now need some beetroots for her, and I can get those. Oh, and we just unraveled a research of skills, which means that I should be able to come in here and maybe get this plantation upgrade, finally. The skills research meant that we were able to place blocks 25% faster. I'm not sure if that is for everybody or just a specific uh, person like the miner. Uh, we'll see. But we'll go for the double trouble research then, which should unlock the ability for us to do another plant there and I think we'll put some cactus in. And there might be another research eventually for us to get a third one in, then we can do some bamboo there too. Hello chap, well you are out a bit early tonight. Isaac has been very busy for us while we were doing that, and has nearly done this farmer here. Oh yep, I can see it in the corner. Now I think this is just farmer tier one that he's doing. Uh, I did notice that it was very quick to build there, so maybe that little research has worked for everyone. I can see those spruce paper walls there, they're kind of used as windows, which is a really, really neat idea. I like that a lot. That building is nearly complete, it's at 64% so far. Oh, and speaking of complete, there's farmer done there as well, so I'll come straight in here and upgrade it. They're going to do sawmill 4, that's fine, but they will be coming back to do this. I just wish I had a worker in here to actually do this for us. But we'll get there once that outpost research is done. We have made a lot of progress today, which I'm pleased about. I'm going to need to spend a little bit of time here and try fix some of this, uh, because I'm needing this farm back up and working. We're needing a lot more of these crops to help everything here, but we've made a lot of good progress and soon hopefully we'll have even more NPCs in to help us continue growing the colony.